Hi, I'm out of darts. After posting my initial video of the Zeus 5600, I got a lot of emails, Facebook comments, and YouTube comments asking me to do a parts list or a tutorial. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial yet because this design is changing by the minute, and every week I add something new to it. But what I am going to do is tell you where I got all the parts and basic instructions on how I put it together. To make this blaster, I've listed all the parts, where to source them from, in the description below. First, this blaster is powered by a blower, which is pretty obvious. Uh, it's a squirrel cage blower that you can find from sparkfun.com. It's about five bucks and maybe six dollars shipping. The fan runs on 12 volts, but you can actually put more voltage into it and it seems to run just fine. So essentially, you have to run this design on a 3S LiPo running at 11.1 .1 volts minimum. Ideally, but not necessary, is a DC voltage boost circuit. Uh, what that allows you to do is overvolt this motor and get a little more power to propel the balls down through the chamber. This allows you to crank this up to 15 or 16 volts, which gives you the power you need to power not only this amount of tubing, but more tubing as you're going to see on a design coming in a couple weeks. The tubing is a thin-walled 1.09 inch polycarbonate tubing, which you can get on McMaster Car. For those who haven't shopped McMaster yet, prepare to be blown away because they have something like half a million products on their site. The elbows are one and a quarter C PVC tubing. The compact PVC allows for a little lighter weight, and it just fit this tubing really well, so it seemed really elegant. The CPVC tubing also fits better into the actual uh, chamber of the blaster without modifying the tubing in any way. One sticky point I have had with this whole design, I can't seem to source the same CPVC twice in a row. You'll notice these two similar, yet very clearly different shapes. The more rounded one is excellent, while the sharper angle tends to jam a lot. One solution here is to fill the corners with glue, as you can see inside of this piece. According to Nibco on their website, both parts are the same, but clearly they've started to make them differently. Internally include a 3S LiPo, 16 gauge black and red hobby wire, XT60 connectors, 10 amp micro switches, a basic soldering setup, and acrylic cement. Acrylic cement is seriously amazing stuff if you haven't used it yet. It holds extremely well, it cures fast, and it works in almost all Nerf applications. A hot glue gun is also really handy for holding down wiring inside without damaging the wiring or the blaster. The hot glue can also be used to mock up parts and hold them temporarily when you know you can really easily you know, pull them off later at another time. For instance, I've hot glued this little bit here at the end of the blaster to hold, on, hold this in place until I come up with a more permanent solution. Leave a comment with any questions. The description below has all the parts list and you should be able to find everything there. I hope you enjoyed this list and found it useful. Uh, I can't wait to see what everybody else comes up with and please share your results as you build your own. Thanks for watching, I'm out of darts.